Eu sempre usava. I had always taken drugs and before I knew it, I was also selling them. The phone could ring at any moment to tell them Charles has been killed. My name is Charles Lima. I am 34 years old. My involvement with drugs started at an early age. I was 16 years old. And in my workplace, most of my work colleagues took drugs. My curiosity led me to get involved as well. What I thought would just be a moment of curiosity ended up enslaving me. I would snort cocaine and drink lots of alcohol. Since I was taking drugs, I had contact with people who sold them. From that moment on, I began to get more and more involved. And before I knew it, I was selling drugs. I earned a lot of money. In one day, I would make around 150 to 250 pounds. However, all the money that came in was spent on gambling, drinks and drugs. I saw many friends get killed. There were mass killings and many horrific scenes. At the same time that you see these things happening, you have no reaction to get out of it. I couldn't understand that. I remember a situation where the phone rang and they warned us that many police vehicles were coming to where I was. There was a wall there and we sold drugs behind it. Anyone who went past us was served like it was a drive through But no matter how hard I tried to run this way or that way, I would get caught red-handed. A moment that I will never forget was when I saw my mum for the first time in prison. I saw her crying, breaking down and sobbing. I observed that scene and it moved me very much because she was suffering for something that she didn't do. She was suffering for something that I had done. God gave me a chance. He gave me an opportunity because though I was caught red-handed, I managed to get acquitted. But that still wasn't enough. As if that wasn't bad enough, despite everything that had happened, I went back to a life of crime. All the money that I received was directed to gambling, slot machines, cigarettes and drinking. Nothing was stable. I couldn't achieve anything. I didn't grow or evolve. I had no peace. I had frustrated relationships. My entire life was destroyed. My family was shaken. What my family feared the most was my death. They knew that the phone could ring at any moment to tell them, Charles has been killed. My greatest suffering was not only my hunger and basic needs. My greatest suffering was spiritual. I would feel very sad because I was in the church when I was younger. I had taken part in the youth group and been involved in activities. It was very good. I remember the Sunday mornings, but I ended up leaving. I went back to the world when I was 16 years old. Many years went by after I had left, and it increasingly felt like the more I swam, the deeper I sank. It was as if God was at the beach, and I was drowning, going deeper, but trying to swim, trying to reach my father's arms, but couldn't. This went on until one day, I came across a girl who was evangelizing. I knew her from when I was in the church. To me, he was unrecognizable. I had an image of him before, and then I saw him later. I never thought that he would get to that state. He was very thin, had sunken eyes. I went over to evangelize him. I talked to him, and he was never reluctant to go. He never said that he wouldn't go. The first time that I went back, 
It was like a child who had abandoned his home and was going back. Truly, it was like going back to my father's house. I knew the path that I had to follow. I had already made my decision. Of course, it was not easy, but at that moment, I made a decision. I said, I will give myself to Jesus. I was set free from the drinking, gambling, pornography. I was set free from everything, the drugs. The entire time, I knew that I had to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, I would leave again, as it had happened before. I knew that in order to be saved, I had to have the seal of the Holy Spirit. My mind was connected to God 24 hours a day, even at work, in my daily task. I was always meditating and in a spirit of prayer. One Sunday morning, I went to church determined. I was determined, saying, I will be baptized in the Holy Spirit today. That Sunday morning, in the 9.30 a.m. meeting, the Holy Spirit testified upon me. There, God gave me the confirmation and placed His seal upon me. I had the certainty and the complete conviction that the Holy Spirit had come upon me and baptized me. I had inner peace. My desire was to help people who were in the same situation that I was in and to talk about God to my family and to talk about God to people on the street or anywhere else, at work or wherever it may be. Any time is a good time to talk about God. Nowadays, I live in peace. Charles today is completely different. I am responsible, hard-working, and the head of a family. I am married today and my wife is the same person who had invited me. She helped me as a friend. Today, he is a wonderful husband. He takes care of me. He is a soul winner. He takes care of his daughter. He takes care of my mother. He takes care of us. He meets all my needs, and I never had this in a relationship. He respects me. He has character. And above all, he is a man of God, born of God. Praise God that today, for someone who didn't have a job, I provide jobs. I have a company in the construction industry. My wife and I take part in the youth group. It is a pleasure to talk about Jesus to young people, teens, and all sorts of people. Wherever we go, we talk about God to everyone. We see the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives, in every moment, all the time. It is God Himself in me. The Holy Spirit is everything.